Hello, my name is Redox PDX, and welcome to the debut episode of So You Want to Be a Speedrunner. It's a series where we help the layman speedrunner figure out the great world that exists within our sport. Come with us as we discuss topics ranging from tech support, how to learn speedruns, practicing, and more. Today's episode is focusing on how to frame count a speedrun. This is a topic that gets brought up very often when I stream or whenever a newer runner gets a PB and they're not entirely certain on how to go forward with the exact frame count. Of course, there are many other ways to accomplish this, but the short answer is your timer is never perfect. Unless you're using an auto splitter or your game has an in-game timer, you will never be able to exactly rely on a split timer, regardless of how accurate you might think you are. This isn't that big of a deal usually. Most speedrun leaderboards only count in seconds, and those that require milliseconds usually only do so for runners that are near the top of the boards. For the world records, ties, or runs where a specific milestone or minute barrier is in question, a frame count is oftentimes the best option to accurately time your run. Let's start with step one, downloading your VOD, aka VOD. This is pretty straightforward. If you stream your attempts live on Twitch or YouTube, you have the option in both to download your stream VOD, assuming of course that you have VODs enabled in your settings. Another way to do this is to locally record your runs. This helps tremendously if you don't wish to stream your attempts or if your stream drops for any reason. Another reason most runners run local recording during their PB attempts. Once you have your VOD, we can move on to step two, using a video editor such as a Vitamix to count your run. You'll need a video editor that can advance by frame to count your run as accurately as you can. Most runners in leaderboard mods use a Vitamix, which is a free program you can download. Link is in the description. Go ahead and install the program anywhere on your computer you like. If you're using another video editor, such as Sony Vegas or Microsoft Movie Maker, you'll need to refer to those programs to figure out how best to frame advance. By the way, we hope this video has been helpful so far. We're just getting started here in the Speedrun Hall of Fame. If this video helps, please leave a like, tell us in the comments how we did, and subscribe to Speedrun Hall of Fame, if you haven't already, for the best in up-to-date tips and news on the Hall of Fame. Step 3. Upload your video. This is the fun part. Open your video in your program. For this demonstration, we're using a Vitamix. We'll be using my own speedrun of Chippendale Rescue Rangers on the NES from Skip the Stigma 2022, where my son and I got our PB in the marathon. We want to frame count the run so we can submit it to the leaderboards. First, find the very first frame in which the rules state you start your timer. For Chippendale, the rules say that time starts on the first frame after you press start on one player or in this case, two players. So for this, we're going to frame advance to the first frame after we press start. And now we'll click A down below on the left hand side in the controls here. As you can see, a Vitamix drops an A point on the same frame. Now locate the final frame. The rules state that this is the same frame we deal the final hit to Fat Cat. Using frame advance, let's find the frame. Once we do, press B here. Now, if you wish, you can double check both your A and B points, as well as the rules if you're new to this. Finally, once you're certain the points are in the correct place, check the bottom right of your screen. There will be a selection indicator with a timer, and that's your time. As long as your A and B plot points are correct, you'll be provided with an accurate to the frame count of your exact time. And that, folks, is really all there is to it. It really is just that simple. I'm Redox PDX, and this has been an episode of So You Wanna Be a Speedrunner. More tips and helpful videos to come, and thank you so much for watching.